CC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are going to learn how to make this um, face mask and it has a removable filter in it. So there's a space in the back that's there for the filters. Now I do want to say at the beginning of this video that I am not a doctor. I do not recommend these necessarily. These are just things that I made for our family to make us feel safer and now that the CDC has um, recommend not necessarily recommended but has changed their thought patterns on everyone wearing masks this is something that i decided to do for our family because it is virtually impossible to find masks and that's okay because our healthcare workers need them so um this is just all crochet and these filters actually um what i'm using for filters is um i found furnace filters that you use to put in your furnace or um uh you know, like your air conditioning unit, those kind of ones um, we found at Lowe's. And um, it has all the way on the back of those uh, furnace filters, they're squares. Um, and on the back, it gives you what that they, they actually filter. And this one goes all the way up to viruses and bacteria. Um, and so this is what I felt like was safe for my family. Again, this is just what I feel is safe for my family. I am not saying in any way, shape or form that this will protect you necessarily from what's going on in the world today but it is just what's made us feel better and I thought maybe it could help someone else so that's why I'm sharing it um, I am late on jumping on the bandwagon for making these because I did not feel that um, from what I was hearing that it was the best thing to do per se but now um, from what I've read and what I found out I think that it's actually good for my family okay so what I did was is I took those filters apart they usually do have a metal backing so you have to carefully take those out out of the box and then you unravel it and you have this huge piece um, that you can use as reusable filters these are not meant to be worn for longer than one use um, and what I did was, is I just made a little pattern. Um, I laid this on top of that and I draw, I drew around it just like you would if you were sewing um, uh, for material and I drew around this and then I cut it out and then I just fold it in half and um, put it inside here just like this. And then I pull from the other side and then I open it up and it fits nicely in here. Um, you may need to trim it a little bit um, on the sides. I just left it as this. And so then what we can do is if we've had to go out, if anyone in my house has had to go out as a family or if they've gone out on their own for anything um, essentially that they need, um, or if you have, like in our case, you have someone who's got an essential job and they have no protection at their job, um, so what we would do is um, they would come home, take this off, take the filter out, throw this in the washing machine, use the directions that the yarn tells you to use for washing, um, then uh, take it out, and then you would have another filter to put in it that you cut out, okay? So that's what we're doing in our family, and I just wanted to share. So little tips on yarn. Um, this can get warm on the face um, because it is crochet. Um and uh but uh, so i use a lighter weight type yarn the lightest weight i can i would not use any kind of wool unless i was like in a cold environment um, but cotton or anything like that would work well um, but a lighter weight yarn i think works really good with this also you need to use a little bit smaller of a hook than what they call for for your yarn so for instance if it calls for a 5.5 i would use a 5 maybe even go down to a 4.5 and so on and so forth. Um, and that's because you want this to be as tight as possible. Um, and you also want to crochet as tightly as you possibly can. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so I'm just using this, um, it's a teal colored yarn I got from Hobby Lobby, so I'm using this. I'm using a five millimeter hook, and this yarn I think actually calls for a six point, uh, millimeter six millimeter hook so I'm using that you are going to need a yarn needle or a darning needle and a pair of scissors so what you're going to do is you're going to start out with a slip knot and you're going to chain uh, 33 okay so we've chained 33 and this is just a um, 
a good length for anyone or any face because it's really the width that you might need to change, not the length, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook. So that means, you know, obviously we're not gonna go into the loop on our hook. We're not gonna go into this one. We're gonna go into the next one and we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so that's one single crochet and then you're gonna do four more for a total of five. So two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do eight um, half double crochets. So you're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook, go into your next stitch, and do a half double crochet, pull up your yarn. If you have three loops on your hook, go through all three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to do six double crochets. So you're gonna yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull up your yarn. You have three loops on your hook, go through two, and then go through two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to repeat what you did before. So now you're going to do eight half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's what that looks like so far. You can tell that you're making, you're going, you know, uh, low, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, low, and low, okay? So that's just gonna what it's gonna look like. So then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work, okay? And then you're gonna repeat just what you did again. So we're gonna do it again together. So you're gonna go into your first stitch there, right there and do a single crochet, and then you're gonna do four more for a total of five. So two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then again, you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. And then you're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So what you would do is you would continue on for me and for my daughter, for our faces, 10 rows was enough for us, um, but it does depend on what type of yarn you're using. Um, I did one out of a Brene sport blanket kind of yarn, which is really small, soft yarn. And that took a couple more rows to get what I need to cover my nose and my mouth. But for just your regular red heart or your four medium basic um, worsted weight yarn, you will need 10 rows. And for my sons and my husband, I needed 11 rows because they just have bigger heads and faces, okay? So that's what I did for that. Um, and then for the ends, what you're going to do to make the um, pieces that go around your ear is you're going to, once you get done, at the end without cutting off, you would just simply chain 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And then of course yours will be much bigger than this, but then you would go to the other side and then you would simply do a single crochet, just like this. And then what I like to do is go into this next stitch right here, do a slip stitch, and then cut off and tie off my work, okay? So that's all that you're gonna do. And then you would bring in your yarn over here and do the same thing that you did on this side for your ear, um, your ear piece over there, okay? And so then you would just cut off, pull through, and then you would work all your ends in, okay? So all the ends that you have from that, you would work in at this point, and then the front of the mask would be done, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to do this little piece right here, the piece that you're gonna sew on um, from end to end, okay? So using the same color, different color, whatever you wanna do, you could make these real jazzy and neat looking. Um, so for this one, you're going to uh, do a slip knot and you're going to chain um, 23, okay? So let's chain 23. To... Okay, so we chained 23, and now what we're going to do is into this the second chain from the hook, we're going to put a half double crochet, and we need eight of these in total. So there's one, and into the next stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to do six double crochets. One, into the next stitch, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and in this first stitch right here, you're going to repeat again what we just did. So let's do that one more time. We're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and don't forget this last one. You might have to turn it on its side to see that V right there. Go through both sides of the V and then eight, okay? So that's how you do that. And then you would chain one and just repeat. And this is the way, for me, the way that it worked was, is that if I had 10 rows um, for my mask, so I had 10 rows uh, for the front of this mask, that the other one, um, then you would do nine of these and then it would fit perfectly on the back side. And if you had 11, then you would do 10. So you would just do one less than what you did for the front of the mask, okay? And that's just because once we put this on the back and sew it, we want it to fit comfortably inside of it, not overlap it, okay? So just do one less than you did for the front, okay? And so then when you're done with that, you would just simply tie off and leaving enough um, on this side to sew in. And then also, I forgot to tell you when you're doing this and you're starting off doing the slip knot, leave a very long piece on your beginning as well. And you can use both of those to sew in so you don't have to add any yarn to it, okay? And so all you're going to do at that point is you're going to, okay, you're gonna go over, you're gonna count from the end five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And right here in the sixth one is where you would line this piece up and the same up here. You can use stick pins if you need to, then put it over here. Then you would just sew it on there, sew it on here with a um, uh, just a regular uh, back stitch going all the way down on each side. And then you just cut your filter and stick it in like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this is very easy. I made five of these and like, I don't know, a uh, couple hours and that was while I was watching TV and chilling out so they're very easy to make and like I said in the beginning of this video while I can't say that these will keep us all safe they definitely make me feel better and so that's why I wanted to share it I thought that maybe this could help someone else and uh, maybe make them feel a little bit more protected when they're having to go out and about so this is my best way to do that so I hope this helps if it does please let me know if you have any questions or you need any help don't hesitate to ask. I am just quarantined at home, um, not because we're sick, but just because that's what we're told to do. We're staying at home. And um, so uh, I've had several messages from people who are watching videos and they might need a little help. And so I'll even shoot them a little video real quick to help them out with whatever little problem they're having. So yeah, I love to do stuff like that. Um, so don't hesitate to ask. And you can find me on, of course, YouTube right here. So you can comment below, but you can also message me or um, you can find my page on Instagram. You can find it on Facebook under Custom Comfy Crochet. And all of that is in the, in the description below. And like I told you about the filter, we found those at Lowe's. You could probably buy them online. Just make sure that you find the one. They're made by 3M, just like the masks are made. Um, and just make sure that when you look at the back, it goes all the way to bacteria and viruses. But again, let me repeat. This is only what I felt like was safe for my family. I am not a doctor. I am not recommending them. I am not saying that these are scientifically proven to do that. It's just what made sense to me. Okay. So sorry, I've had to say that so many times. I wanted you to know that this was just for our peace of mind. So happy crocheting guys. I hope you're all doing well and stress-free. As you can see, my hands have turned into 
Or look at this reptile hands from washing them so much and using so much hand sanitizer um but yeah we're all doing the best we can so anyways happy crocheting guys i'll see you soon bye bye